You don't have to burn books to destroy a culture. Just get people to stop reading them. Stuff your eyes with wonder. Live as if you'd drop dead in ten seconds. See the world. It's more fantastic than any dream made or paid for in factories. The word is love. You have to get up in the morning and write something you love. Something to live for. First you jump off the cliff and build your wings on the way down. Bees do have a smell, you know. And if they don't, they should. For their feet are dusted with spices from a million flowers. A good night of sleep, or a ten-minute ball, or a pint of chocolate ice cream, or all three together, is good medicine. See the world. It's more fantastic than any dream made or paid for in factories. Ask for no guarantees. Ask for no security. That's the good part of dying. When you've nothing to lose, you run any risk you want. You have to know how to accept rejection and reject acceptance. The first thing you learn in life is you're a fool. The last thing you learn in life is you're the same fool. If you feel bad alone, it means that you are unlikely to feel good next to another. We're just petty insects, all of us, fighting on a pinhead planet. No person ever died that had a family. If a man cries in front of you, it means that he trusts you. When a man is seventeen, he knows everything. If he is twenty-seven and still knows everything, then he is still seventeen. That's friendship, each playing the potter to see what shapes we can make of the other. I guess you hate people when they make you feel naked. I mean, by exposing your flaws in the open. The word politics eventually became a synonym for communism. For the first thing a writer should be, excited. He should be a thing of fevers and enthusiasms. It's not books you need. It's some of the things that once were in books. That's the great secret of creativity. You treat ideas like cats. You make them follow you. Science is no more than an investigation of a miracle we can never explain. And art is an interpretation of that miracle. Death doesn't exist. It never did. It never will. But we've drawn so many pictures of it for so many years, trying to pin it down, comprehend it. We've got to think of it as an entity, strangely alive and greedy. Self-consciousness is the enemy of all art, be it acting, writing, painting, or living itself, which is the greatest art of all. The minute you get a religion, you stop thinking. Believe in one thing too much, and you have no room for new ideas. 
So few want to be rebels anymore. And out of those few, most, like myself, scare easily. When they give you lined paper, write the other way. We cannot tell the precise moment when friendship is formed. As in filling a vessel, drop by drop, there is at last a drop which makes it run over. So in a series of kindnesses, there is at least one which makes the heart run over. Without libraries, what do we have? We have no past and no future. Anything you dream is fiction, and anything you accomplish is science. The whole history of mankind is nothing but science fiction. Your intuition knows what to write, so get out of the way. A book is a loaded gun in the house next door. Who knows who might be the target of the well-read man? Don't think. Thinking is the enemy of creativity. It's self-conscious and anything self-conscious is lousy. You can't try to do things. You simply must do things. The good writers touch life often. The mediocre ones run a quick hand over her. The bad ones rape her and leave her for the flies. You shouldn't talk about things. You should talk about the meaning of things. Life should be touched, not strangled. You've got to relax. Let it happen at times, and at others move forward with it. Don't ask for guarantees, and don't look to be saved in any one thing, person, machine, or library. Do your own bit of saving, and if you drown, at least die knowing you are heading for sure. If we listened to our intellect, we'd never have a love affair. We'd never have a friendship. We'd never go into business because we'd be cynical. We need not to be let alone. We need to be really bothered once in a while. How long has it been since you were really bothered? About something important. About something real. There is more than one way to burn a book, and the world is full of people running around with lit matches. Everyone must leave something behind when he dies. There's no use going to school unless your final destination is the library. The books are to remind us what asses and fools we are. If you hide your ignorance, no one will hit you and you'll never learn. Insanity is relative. It depends on who has who locked in what cage. Souls can't be sold. They can only be lost and never found again. What's the point of having a library full of books you've already read? Learning to let go should be learned from learning to get. Half the fun of the trip is the aesthetic of lostness. Everything that happens before death is what counts.